I wonder if there are long time inhabitants up there. Birds or animals or people. Who knows? Hi, we're Yvonne and Jeremy. We got married last year and now we're exploring the US full time. Our last video took us through the needles of Custer State Park in South Dakota. Today, we take the perfect day trip back west to Devil's Tower in Wyoming and drive through the beautiful Spearfish Canyon in Northwest South Dakota. Good morning, everyone. We've driven an hour and a half out to Wyoming to Devil's Tower National Monument. It was the first national monument established by Theodore Roosevelt in 1906. And it is named after this large tower of formerly molten rock mixed with some sediments. Now, scientists disagree on exactly how it's formed, but it's definitely influenced by volcanic activity. And the name Devil's Tower actually is probably not the original name. The original indigenous name was actually Bear Lodge. There's this indigenous myth of the columns in the tower being left by a bear clawing its way up to get to the top of the tower. But it might not be too surprising that an explorer found this and heard that the name was Bad God's Tower. So he changed it to Devil's Tower. And that's how this monument got its name despite some protests from local indigenous peoples. It looks kind of gnarly, like it's out of this world. I can just look at this and look at the lines on the mountain, on the tower all day long. And I also wonder what the top of the Devil's Tower looks like. I wonder if there are long time inhabitants up there. Birds or animals or people. Who knows? Alright, so right now we're going to walk the tower trail. And as you get closer and closer to the Devil's Tower, it's kind of hard to say what color it is because it's like green, but it's also red, but it's also kind of lightish brown, but it's also kind of gray. So. Wow. Hey, mask casualty. So as we're walking closer and closer to the tower, we notice some fox hide around the trees. But unfortunately, we can't film it on camera because these things are sacred and we just want to respect the indigenous people's practices. I'm out of breath. Our trail is a 1.3 mile loop trail around the base of Devil's Tower. It's really windy today, but generally pretty easy to moderate, slight uphill, downhill trail all around the base. And you can see different features like a ladder that they used to use or a feature called the window in which the columns kind of drop off and stop at a certain point. It's one of the most unique and distinctive features of Devil's Tower. The Devil's Tower is a very solid mass. So basically it's made up of uh, different columns and these columns are compacted and so tightly together that you cannot, it's essentially impossible to break apart. It's nature's strongest glue or strongest structure ever. So we just finished walking around Devil's Tower on the Tower Trail and now on our way back to Rapid City, we're gonna drive down the Spearfish Canyon Scenic Byway. So after driving an hour plus away from Devil's Tower, we got to Spearfish Canyon, which is this beautiful and amazing, totally underrated, undersold part. We drove towards Bridal Veil Falls, which is a beautiful waterfall, but along the way we saw a family of eight mountain goats. I cannot believe we saw a mountain goat on the side of the road. It's like this white fluff ball that's just eating grass and occasionally looking at us and smiling at us. And then as we walked onto the 
boardwalk porch area, we saw even more mountain goats in the distance and they're just climbing up the mountain. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. The sun went down quickly before we got to explore all of Spearfish Canyon, but it's definitely a corner of South Dakota that we'd love to visit and spend more time. With.